Hi everyone, my name is Dan and I'm a veterinarian and today we're going to go over fleas. I'm going to give you a couple tips today on how you go about diagnosing fleas and how you treat fleas, even if you don't see any live fleas on your pet. As always guys, if your pet is sick, please go see your local veterinarian. These videos are solely for entertainment and educational purposes. Let's get started. Fleas are an ectoparasite, meaning they crawl around the skin and they chew and bite your doggy. They will lay eggs and those eggs will hatch and you'll get larvae and those larvae will grow up into fleas that jump and spring all over the place and chew and feast on your cat or your dog. When you're looking for fleas, if you don't see any adults, don't worry about it. Sometimes I don't see any adults either. But what I look for is flea dirt. Flea dirt is digested blood that the fleas leave behind after they've had a blood meal from your cat or your doggy. Most owners when they come in are shocked that I give them a flea diagnosis if we don't see any fleas. Dr. Dan, I don't see any fleas, but my doggy is super, super itchy. If I take the digested flea dirt blood from your pet and I put it on a white paper towel and I put a little bit of water on it, it helps break it down. And then that flea dirt will kind of paint the paper towel red, which is the digested blood. And that's enough for me to diagnose your pet with fleas. A couple other things I do guys, when you're in the exam room, what we should do at home is, we're looking for patterns for fleas. Most of your fleas will live at the base of the tail. So right there on the butt. And the really bad cases, those pets will have no fur on their back end. Literally, it's like they're not wearing pants. There's different levels of flea allergy dermatitis, so inflammation from the fleas. Some pets don't get bothered too much by fleas. Wow, other pets get bothered a ton. So in those cases, we consider that an allergy to the flea. When that flea bites down, it produces an allergic reaction and your doggy is itchy. I mean, I've seen some really itchy dogs. Some owners come in and they're like, Dr. Dan, my neighbor next door has a dog, and it has fleas, and it scratches maybe a little bit, but my dog, it just scratches all night long. It doesn't stop. And now I got these sores, and it's all scabby. What's going on? In those cases, hopefully we went ahead and got the diagnosis from seeing an adult flea, or seeing the flea dirt and putting on a paper towel and diagnosing it that way. And sometimes, if the fur loss pattern no fur on the back end, the butt looks really irritated, no pants on kind of deal. We may just treat for fleas just to be safe. How do we go about treating for fleas now? There's a handful of things I like to do, and every veterinarian may be a little bit different. Number one, you need to pick a flea med. And I stress to everybody, you must treat your dog with the flea medication for at least three months in a row. Most flea meds are given once a month. You can do topicals or you can do orals. We're going to be bathing regularly. That's going to be help to exfoliate, remove dead fleas, and provide a healthier coat as we heal. So for that reason, I do tend to gravitate towards the oral medications. And your veterinarian will give you advice on which one to pick from. But I like it how I can just give it to the doggy and it starts working. Of course, you got to be careful with any medication, topical or oral. They can all have adverse effects which are pretty darn rare, but always talk to your veterinarian about any concerns you may have regarding these medications. This moves me to my last point. If you're treating and your doggy is really, really itchy and uncomfortable, or if you have a lot of scabs and discharge, those fleas may have caused a secondary bacterial infection, or you may have that very elusive flea allergy dermatitis, which may be causing a lot of inflammation and itchy skin. Your veterinarian will pick the flea meds that work best to get rid of the fleas, and they should also grab a medication to calm that skin down. So hopefully we can heal and recover very peacefully without being itchy through the next couple months. I hope this was super helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this content has been helpful for you, please go ahead and subscribe.